few have used special effects as advanced as the sci-fi thriller, The Matrix. I really think it's a groundbreaking movie. There's visual effects that has not ever been seen before. And we pioneered new techniques that were not possible six months ago. Forget about six years ago. They are really, for the first time, will be seen in this picture. And action! Starring Keanu Reeves, the film was written and directed by two former comic book writers, Larry and Andy Wachowski. In their vision of the future, human civilization has been destroyed. Earth is ruled by intelligent robots who use human beings as a source of electrical power. We live in a world that is dominated and run by computers, and that human beings are kind of used as batteries. It was a really, really frightening concept. An international team of effects artists realized this nightmare vision, horrifyingly illustrated by a baby wired to the machine's power grid. The baby was actually a silicone mannequin, sculpted by the makeup effects group in Sydney, Australia, and brought to life through the efforts of 12 puppeteers. In the film story, this baby is just one of millions raised and harvested by machines. To reveal this frightening concept to audiences, the Wachowskis conceived one of the most ambitious effects shots in cinema history. It had to be something that people had never seen before. Larry and Andy had a fantastic concept that you would suddenly see these huge machines and rows and rows of little football-sized wombs, if you like. It's, in fact, a fetus field. And that's an incredibly complex visual effect. Fittingly, the shot that establishes this machine-dominated world was created entirely within computers at Mannix Visual Effects in California. Based on illustrations by futurist Jeff Darrow, animators created CG models of the fetus harvesting robots, then duplicated them to fill the screen. The babies and the sacks in which they are born were positioned on biomechanical stalks. It was a long series of visualizations and animations that eventually ended up with this 35 second shot, uh, well over a year of real work gone into it. The result of this effort unveiled a spectacular and shocking cinema world. I wanted the element of surprise, you know, a classy way to deliver just the right amount of shock in just the right amounts of time. The whole human race is basically trapped in their little pod prisons. To place Keanu Reeves within this world, Patterson's design team created a fiberglass pod that was filled with a mixture of red dye and half a ton of KY jelly. Since Reeves would be completely submerged, months of tests were conducted with stand-ins to make sure the breathing apparatus was safe. Then, Reeves himself was encased beneath a silicone skin for a spectacular birth from the pod in which his character has lived. And action! The connections that siphon Reeves' electrical energy were created through dozens of makeup appliances glued directly to the actor's skin. He's actually got 32 tubes that run from his chest, his arms, his legs, and down his backbone, even between his groin, because uh, he was naked inside the pod. So we actually developed what we call our Egyptian cod piece that allowed him to use it when nature called and gave him a little bit of privacy. Once Reeves was filmed, it was up to the computer artists at Mannix to build the vast power plant that surrounds his pod. The robot that oversees the pods was also a computer-generated graphic. They wanted to drop down in front of them like a spider and re reveal itself. So I uh, came up with an idea of having it enclosed and then coming out almost like a hermit crab. The claw that comes out was actually inspired by uh, dragonfly larva, like part of its mandible that comes out and grabs prey. Viewed as a malfunctioning battery, Reeves is disconnected from the network. 
To illustrate this, McCarran created a silicone replica of Reeves' torso with a plug outlet in the back of his head. Oh, action! The tubes going into McCarran's makeup were carefully tested to fire off through blasts of compressed air. Fire! Ah. Action! And to show Reeves' dramatic exit from the pod, the actor was flushed through an effects device rarely used in films, a water slide. When all of these amazing effects were combined, Keanu Reeves made a spectacular escape from a prison that could only exist in a cinema world. Once free from bondage, Reeves' character joins a band of rebels aboard their hover ship. For the Matrix's climactic battle, the rebel ship is attacked by search-and-destroy robots called Sentinels. Barry and Andy had an idea of a cross, I think, between a mechanical squid and a lethal killing machine. And action! Sentinels! No! To create this show-stopping finale, the actors were filmed on the futuristic ship set. The physical effects team triggered pyrotechnics to mark the path of the Sentinel's destruction. Mannix animators then carefully matched the computer-generated robots with the live-action footage, creating a meltdown within the Matrix. The Matrix creates a world audiences hope doesn't exist. An impossible place that can only be reached through visual effects.